What's up, everyone? My name is Andrew Fong. So today I'll be walking you through a machine learning project, which is a wine quality prediction based on a real-world data set. So this video will be the first video of a machine learning series, which I will go through the different key things that you will do when you are training your models in machine learning. So for example, I would I will go through data processing, um, linear regression, classifications, and for example, feature selection, selecting the best features that will help you make more accurate predictions, and also maybe performance enhancement such as hyperparameters tuning. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this machine learning project, we are given two data sets, which is the test CSV and the train CSV. So let's take a look one by one. The train CSV will contain different um, columns that are attributes such as the fixed acidity, citric acid, um, residual sugars, density, and pH. And for the last column, there will be a label column, which indicates whether a bottle of wine is of high quality or low quality. For instance, this um, bottle of wine is of high quality. Maybe the density is higher than the counterparts. So our mission today is to train a model which uh, given a set of uh, attributes and their values to predict whether this uh, label, this bottle of wine is of high quality or low quality. So we will be doing the predictions on the test.csv, which uh, there will be sample data as well. And we will be looking at whether our, our prediction model is uh, fairly accurate or not so good. So let's get started. So for the first part of data preprocessing, we should uh, import pandas, numpy, and also seaborn. So for those who don't know, Seaborn is a library for plotting and creating maybe a correlation plots uh, with fancy looking graphs. And let's import the dataset now, which is uh, data frame train equals pandas dot read um, CSV uh, wine data train dot CSV. And just to be sure, we can set the separation, or you can do um, the limiter to be a comma, so that uh, it makes sure that it works. So let's print it out. Let's see. Okay, so we have successfully loaded in the data set, and we have approximately uh, 1,620 rows entries meaning entries so let's check whether let's check their information even though we have 1620 entries we still have some entries that are without without that that has no content so meaning that some of the entries are left as blank so what we can do about it is to um, replace the those values, the empty values, to with a median value. So let's do that now. So we can replace it by um, data frame train equals train dot apply a lambda function, which uh, will take the which will fill the uh, empty cells with median of uh, of that column and let's set the axis to be zero and we can drop those uh, duplicated rows by their frame train equals their frame train dot drop um, duplicates and let's see the result so we told in total have um, 1,617 entries. So let's move on. So 
The next question is to draw a heat map to visualize the correlation between every two of the ten features. So this question is asking about the correlation between the attributes. So for example, um, if there are more residual sugar, then will the density increase? Probably yes. So we have to find out the relationship between the attributes and and to plot it out. So we can do that by um, dataframe.core so inside the dataframe.core and dataframe train dot iloc we extract the first um, 10 columns excluding labels and then find the correlation using core and we can plot it out using the SNS Seaborn's um, heat map and plug in the dataframe.core variable and let's see okay so to enhance the contrast we can just do um, C map equals RDBU just to make it uh, more appealing to, to the human eye and we can see that um, this line is directly correlated because they are matching themselves. As I said, when the residual sugar increase, the density also increase. So it signals a positive correlation. Yeah. Okay, so after plotting the correlation heat map to visualize the correlation between the two features, um, in the next video, I'll be covering the linear regression between the features. So mainly, I will be showing you how you can plot the um, R square score between the at each attribute and the density. So um, you can find the whether a linear model is close to the test set according to their R square score. So see you in the next video. Bye, guys.